Hello, my name is Omaro Kadogan. Welcome back in my kitchen. As usual, I'm trying you how, or I'm showing you how to change the knowledge we have about functional medicine into actual cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to make sparkling green tea, so you can actually have a fizzy green tea drink. First of all, we need a bit of green tea, so here I have some green tea concentrate. I'm going to dissolve that in a bit of water. You don't need a lot of water, just a slight bit. Now, if you don't have any instant green tea concentrate, you could also just brew green tea, so either take loose leaves or take a bag of really high quality green tea and steep it in about half a cup of warm water and then leave it to chill or to cool and you could use that as your starting concentrate but if you have instant green tea powder then it makes things a lot easier to have that so we pour that into our jug and now all we need is some sparkling mineral water so here I have some sparkling mineral water and I'll simply pour that now, this is a bit like pouring draft beer. You have to be very careful and very gentle because if you go too aggressively at it, you'll just get foam. As you can see, even now, when I'm pouring the sparkling mineral water onto the side of the carafe, you still get some foam and froth on top. But if I were to pour it directly in, then the carafe would just explode with foam. So you have to be a bit patient here and pour slowly and wait for some of the foam to subside. it will come down and so down there we have sparkling green tea so I'm just going to cut this glass and see if add a bit more now but presto voila here we go sparkling green tea so a sparkling energizer that might be a bit better than the ones laden with lots of sugar and caffeine. If you want to sweeten it, you could add just a wee bit of honey or a very small amount of um, agave syrup or a very small amount of maple syrup or maybe just a bit of stevia concentrate. And then that would get you your sweetness without having to resort to these obscene amounts of sugar you find in most sweet drinks. And again, think about it, green tea, it does give you energy, but in a much gentler way than some of the heavily caffeinated drinks you get out there. So green tea, in addition to having some caffeine, also contains magnesium and potassium that are both calming, and it contains the amino acid called L-theanine. And L-theanine will increase the production of the neurotransmitter called GABA, or gamma amino butyric acid. And GABA is essentially the body's own relaxant. So Yes, there are some there are stimulant properties in green tea, but green tea comes in with its own built-in break, you could almost say, so you won't get hyper. So that just gives you gentle, focused energy, as opposed to blowing the lid off your brain with lots of caffeine. And of course, green tea is really high in antioxidants and phytochemicals that have a, an anti-inflammatory effect that upregulate all sorts of mechanisms in your liver and your kidneys that support detoxification both of things that are created in your body but also external toxins like environmental toxins so if you usually drink a big bottle like this of some sort of fizzy drink I promise you if you switch to the same amount of sparkling green tea either unsweetened or sweetened with just a bit of agave syrup or honey or even better stevia or maple syrup you'll feel a lot better and you'll still get your energy support, whatever we want to call it, if we're going to be diplomatic. Cheers.